I wonder how this smells. Oh, it's so cute! Oh! Oh, it smells like baby wipes. I have been waiting a good minute to do this haul, and I am so excited because I've been waiting forever to use these products. So without further ado, look at all these receipts. Oh, let's get on with the haul. So I've been using a lot of retail therapy lately because I'm highly stressed and that's just how I deal with things sometimes. So I went out and I wanted to get myself makeup but I didn't want to go completely broke doing so. So I went to my trusted brand that is drugstore which is Wet n Wild. And so I got here a bunch of stuff. Uh, most of it is new and so we are going to be going over that now. So first things first, I'm the realist. Just kidding. I mean, I am real, but that is not, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so first thing first here is uh, Wet n Wild came out with some vegan, cruelty-free makeup brushes, and I am all about that life. So I said, Corey, you need to get yourself some. And I went and I stocked like four Walgreens trying to get the whole collection. Guys, I got this about like two weeks ago, and to this day, I have slowly been adding brushes. And I added one not too long ago, which is this one, which I just did a haul video on. And I am almost there. I need one more brush, and I'll have the whole set. And so I kind of wanted to showcase uh, them here now, if I could stop spilling them. But let's go over them, shall we? First here, we have a powder brush, and I am so excited. <sighs> they are super, super soft. And if I pull, only like two little straggly straggles came out, but they seem to be doing okay, nothing. Oh, there's that, there's like one peeking out there. There's like one just came out, a little hair came out. But I mean, no, yeah, I mean, it seems to be doing good. Uh, the brush itself is white, it has a white handle, and it's got this little indention in the middle here, and it's got some pink tips. Now... Will this white last long? Probably not. I can definitely see this turning into a really gross brown color, but whatever. Uh, and then it has its logo in the brush handle down here, wet and wild. And so this is the powder brush. This is the packaging, this is what it comes in, and it tells you at the top what it is for, and then it tells you in the bottom that it is vegan and cruelty free, which is great. Now, the bigger face brushes do retail for $2.99, whereas the smaller eye brushes go for $0.99. Cents. Now, Walgreens usually has a buy one, get one free, and those apply to the small eye brushes. The face brushes did not have that deal going on, and um, I'm not sure how many brushes there are in the collection. I know that I still need one more, and so, yeah. So that is, that is that. I'm so excited to start using them. So next we have a flat top brush here. Then we have a small staple brush. Small concealer brush. Blush brush. Night, Daddy! Love I love you! You better! Then we've got a crease brush. Which, I actually want to open this now. And I think it's this one. I got two of the same brushes, a flat top brush. Is it? Was it? Is it? No, yeah, that's it. Never mind. I think I got two powder brushes for my bronzer and my blush. And... Yes, that blending brush, no. This brush, this brush is a blending brush and the tip is quite nice. And so I am so excited to use these. I cannot tell you guys how, I went to CVS, I went to like four different Walgreens trying to get the whole collection and I still need one more. And so I am still stocking all of my local Walgreens in hopes of getting it. This is a flat top brush. 
Now I am really excited for these little indention here in the brush just because it's easy for you to kind of place where your fingers are going and I think it's actually uh you could do it with both fingers because even when I hold it in my left hand it still feels really nice to feel it it's not awkward it's not an awkward position and so I really think that they uh took that into considering in consideration when creating that dent there uh this is a small eyeshadow brush this is a large eyeshadow brush and a foundation brush. And then last but not least, this is the angled liner that I showed in another video. And so the only brush that I need left is a contour brush. And so the uh, top is at a slight angle. And that is the only brush I need. And I'm still stocking for it. So Walgreens, you haven't seen the last of me. The good thing about this is that I have been accumulating points, so much so that I actually got $5 off of this purchase. So, that was cool. Next, I have here a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in Pregu. I have no idea how you pronounce that. No idea. But this is it. Now this uh, NYX is actually a cruelty free brand. They do not test on animals. And Danielle definitely got an obsession with this. Uh, this formula. She has nonstop been collecting various colors in this line in the matte one and so she convinced me to get me one and I got this rosy one. Now it definitely feels buttery and smooth. Uh, there it is. It is very much a rose undertone, a pinky kind of pink. We'll see and wait uh, how long that takes to mattify. Uh, this formula is indeed matte and it's a really nice color. I really enjoy them. Danielle loves them. Next, I got this Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder in tan, and I got this partnered with um, actually the foundation that I'm using today, which I left it in the car, so I will be back for that. But it is a, uh, no, it's not a BB cream, it's a something, and uh, yes. Uh, and I and I got this partnered in with a uh, foundation of theirs just because I was running late for work one day and I actually got there like way before I actually had to and I looked dead and so I went off and I got myself some makeup and uh, this is one of the things that I got. This has a nice light coverage. It's uh, nothing really too big, nothing really too fancy, but partnered together with that uh, foundation that I got with it is a pretty nice duo and I'm actually going to go get that now. Alright guys, so this is the foundation that I used with that powder and it is just the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation and it says all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight, satin matte finish, complex reduces appearance of wrinkles, uh, rejuvenates skin. And I mean, I mean as far as medium to full coverage, I've only really seen a uh, medium coverage. I mean I would definitely, I do use concealer with this. Um, I've, I haven't really really layered it on just because it's been really hot and I don't feel like layering on product but it is very lightweight. When I put it on and it settles into my skin it feels like I'm wearing nothing unless my oily t-zone tends to like really freak out that day then I feel product on my face but I mean for a regular like lazy or not doing strenuous work or anything I don't feel this on my skin whatsoever, but it does have that medium, I would say light coverage, unless um, you build it up, which I haven't. So that's a thing. Next, I have this Wet n Wild Coverall Correcting Palette, and this is what it is. Uh, so green cancels out red. So when you have a red patch on your face, you put a little bit of that on it. You cancel purple with yellow and yellow with purple. So that is the color wheel. And I'm super excited for that green. I'm super excited for the purple. I'm super excited for this overall. 
Next is this Giordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadow. Now, I tend to use this as a base. I've used this quite uh, a bit, but I did get it during this haul, but I couldn't wait to use it. And uh, it is very much something that I use towards a base. So there it is there. It is a rose gold kind of color, but if you start to blend it in, it does separate and um, it is very apparent that there is glitter in there. As you can kind of see, it is very shimmery, very glittery. So I tend to use that when I have a sparkly eyeshadow going on top of it. And just to let you see, there is that NYX. I believe it's still drying a little. Yeah, it's still drying, but it is supposed to be a matte finish. Uh, but there in the top, it is uh, dry and matte. Now, Danielle actually wore one of these uh, throughout the day, and it looked really nice on her, so I'm super excited. But the setting time for these NYX mattifying is taking a bit. So next I have this Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder and this is new from a new collection that they have. Oh my gosh, do I want to mess it up now? Do I want to mess it up now? What, what, what finger is clean? My pinky is clean. Do you see that? Is there was there anything on there? Oh, it's a very very light, like golden, pearly highlight. Do you see it there? Yes, shimmer it up. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice. It's nice. It feels very nice to the touch. It's very soft, very elegant. I am excited. What else is in here? Next, I have this Wet n Wild, I was about to say next, this Wet n Wild Matte Pencil, and this is new, I believe, and I got a color, and I didn't like it, so I went back and I traded it for this color, so let's see how this goes. Ooh, this is nice! This is nice. When in doubt, guys, when going pink, always go for rose tone. I feel like rose tone goes great with everything. This is definitely, uh, it has those gray undertones that that NYX had over here. This guy has, but in rose. It's like a really nice everyday color and I don't feel like that is the right portrayal of this I definitely think that this is a little bit more on the pink oh wait you know what no you know what swatched it definitely has much more of a pinky tone than a purpley tone that it shows on this top so but it's so nice oh my gosh yes I'm excited I'm so glad I switched the colors because the other one was not cute next I have this wet n wild mattifying powder now, I didn't notice this before, but this does have sparkles in it, and I'm not sure how I like that. I mean, I don't, I don't think the camera will pick it up, but there's, like, these shimmers. Oh, it smells like makeup. So, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I actually got some puffs for that. Next, I have this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. Let's open it. Get in here. Oh. Look at that pan size. <gasps> I die! That Amazing! Oh! There they are. Can I just say that this is so soft? It is so buttery. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. I honestly thought it was going to be a little chalky, but that feels so good. I am so excited. Ooh. 
you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me, texture-wise, it reminds me of my Hourglass. And if you've touched the palette from Hourglass, you know what soft feels like. And that was butter. Oh my gosh. I am excited to contour. Let us see what else is in here. Next, I've got this Wet n Wild Idol Eyes cream shadow pencil and this is iridescent and I'm really into iridescent and I've actually swatched this before but I wanted to uh, still showcase it but look at that purple look at how it's catching the light oh <gasps> yes ah oh! now I have been after this color from Urban Decay called Solstice Saltus for like ever now and Every time I go, they don't have it in stock. I haven't been able to get time on Mondays to go and get one. And so I thought this would hold me over. And it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm still coming for you, Solstice from Urban Decay. Still coming for you. Next, I got this Wet n Wild Glitter Pot. And this is just because I like to do glitter brows any once in a while. And I use this. Then I have this Wet n Wild Sangria Castles bronzing pan. And if you guys have never used Wet n Wild, I definitely recommend it. It is so affordable, so nice, so affordable, so nice. There it is. Yes. This definitely has a texture on top like not as soft as that contour but whew, and I am going to put you I'm running out of space oh <gasps> that is nice it's like right there it's nice yes yeah, come through come through wet and wild now I'm gonna have a couple of things left Yes. Alright. I've got a, another one of those glitter pots by Went and Wild, and this one's purple. I've got this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And this is another one of the matte ones that I just tested on my hand. I opened this one because I wanted to swatch the color when I first bought it. This is definitely much more of a berry color. And I swatched it like right on top of that pink one. Now as you can see the pink is definitely matte now. It's nice. Uh, just a little bit of payout in my finger. Yeah, a little bit's coming off. I feel like it still needs more set time. Uh, I'm not sure. I still need to test out and play around with these. The color is really nice. The texture is really nice. Do they go completely matte? I do not know. It doesn't seem to be working out that way. But we'll definitely find out. What was this? What was this? Oh, it was this. <gasps> I think I'm in love with this. This is so nice. Next, I've got this Wet n Wild color icon new formula so i was about to say safety sealed blush and this is in pearlescent pink now this is definitely much more of a corally color this is a type of blush color that i would wear which is a corally kind of natural blush one this does seem to have a little bit of gold shimmer to it Kind of reminds me of Orgasm from NARS. This one is right here. Right there. It's definitely a nice color that I can work with. It seems to be blending nice. It's a very nice fleshy, corally color. 
Next, I have this Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara, and it is very basic, and I got it for that day that I just needed some stuff. Very basic. Last but not least, apart from these puffs that I got for the translucent powder, is this. This is the Botanics The Power of Plants Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm, 97% organic, deeply cleanses and smooths with nourishing rosehip. Now, I've wanted to try this brand forever. I got this at my local Target and uh, at no, Essie here on YouTube, she's one of my favorite beauty gurus, she has talked about cleansing balms, and I find it to be so unique, a balm. I love that, I love balms, I, I, I love balms, and so the thought that it was a cleansing balm kind of sent me going, and so I was like, yo, I want to find me an affordable one, one that I can get my little hands on. It's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg. And so I saw that Botanics had one, and I was like, great, kill two birds with one stone, because I wanted to try this product and I wanted to try this brand. Now, when I was trying to uh, open this package, I saw that it actually comes with the cloth. Now, would I use this? No, this is very rinky dink, very rinky dink. It's like soft on this side and like, like pleated, and then on the other side, it's like, it's like, your linens so I mean I don't know what I use this I don't know possibly but I think I'd find my own wash towel so here we have the product and I just opened the box so I'm excited to see what it's like on the inside I couldn't help myself it is literally a solid balm it kind of melts to the touch it smells herbally, which I mean, I kind of like. <sighs> yeah, it just kind of melts. I am so excited to try this out. I'm actually going to try it out now. So that is it. That is my huge haul, my wet n wild huge haul. If you definitely wanna check out a drugstore brand, I totally, completely recommend wet n wild. Uh, I have had a few misses in their brand, a few couple of weird formula deviations. A lot of these products are new and I personally haven't tried them, so that's why I wanted to get them. But if you guys want to see any reviews or any, uh, if you saw something you want me to touch up upon uh, later or something, please let me know. But until then, I will see you guys. Thanks so much for sticking around and I'll see you guys later.